Hello everybody, my name is Kendra and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a boxy charm unboxings. Um, I have it up from December to February. And here's all the goodies here. Oh god. Right up here. All of these babies. We're going to unbox them all. So I don't want to ramble on about it. I'll have all the details about BoxyCharm down below. Everything you need to know about it if you want to check it out. Um, so without further ado, I'm just going to get into it. I don't want this video to be really, really long. So without further ado, let's open it. And I don't know which one's which, so. Oh, this one's January's. So when you open up the box here, Where's the card at? The card fell out. But, like, the card's on top. And it says, Boxy Charm Breaking the Ice. And it has, like, a list of, like, the things that are on the back and they're, how much they're worth. Like, their price tag. Um, and then here is what you see in the pack, on the box. Um, the first product I'm pulling out. It is the Too Faced Diamond Light Diamond Fire Highlighter. And open it up in the container. And it looks like that. It has just says, It's your time to shine, which is pretty cute. And then you take it out. It's in the shade Canary Diamond. Uh, you open it up, and then here is what it looks like. It has like a like a pink and like gold sheen to it and then when you swatch it let's see let's hope you can see it there it is right here can you see it it's very pretty it's very pretty but uh it's not something that I would use, so I'm just going to pass this on to my sister, because I know she loves, she would love it. The next product in here is the Avant 8 Hour Radiance Renew Sleeping Mask. And this is what the packaging looks like. And uh, I unscrew the cap here. And take off the little thingy here. Ugh. All right, where can I lay this at? And then you peer it out, and it is this white. Can you see it? Yep, right there. This is white consistency, and you blend it in like that. Blends in nice. This one says. Just apply a thin layer to clean dry skin, allow it to absorb into skin. No need to wash off. Discontinue use of rennets or annotation curds. Do not ingest. Who the hell would ingest this? Seriously. I don't understand that. But this looks interesting. So that's pretty cool. Um, the next product in here is the... Forgive me if I'm saying this wrong, but I think it's the Mana Beauty Simplified. It has Kadar on it. I don't really know which is which. This is in the shade, uh, it's a lip whip. It's a lip whip and it's in the shade Hope. Huh, that's my sister's name. But this is what it looks like. This color here. I'm not going to open this because I'm not going to use this. I'm going to give it to one of my friends. I think she will use it more than I will. And for my lipstick to color, you've already seen that I already have enough lipsticks. Unless it's one that I'm really, really wanting or excited to use, then I'll use it. But I honestly don't need any more lipsticks right now. But I'm just going to give that to her. This one, I'm really interested to use seems very exciting. I was actually hoping when I was looking at their Instagram stories when they were showing some of these things, I was hoping I'd get this. And I did. And I am excited. This is going to last me a long time. <laughs> this really will. It's the Skin and Cone um, 
Roma Truffle Therapy. It's a polishing micro exfoliating truffle face gamage. And it's supposed to... Black truffle extract is obtained from the Black Winter Truffle, which is an anti-aging, antioxidant powerhouse ingredient because of its ability to protect against free radical damage. Apricot seed powder is known to gently exfoliate and promote the removal of dull, damaged, and dead skin cells. Sweet almond extract is high in monounsaturated fatty acids, proteins, and vitamins A and E, it is known as a deep cleansing treatment to remove makeup, oil, dirt, impurities accumulated throughout the day. Squalene is extracted from a talon olive oil. It's a nourishing oil that mimics skin sebum, aiding to regulate moisture and oil production in skin for a more hydrated and supple complexion. Squalene mitigates meditates the loss of moisture and appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Adalantoin Works as a skin conditioner, soothing, sensitive, and irritated skin types. I will try this out tonight, actually, when I take off my makeup and do my regular skincare. This is what the bottle looks like. I hope you can see it up close. But, I need to get the packaging off. Ugh. I take this off, and it comes out like this consistency you see from the bottle there. It's like a... It has white in it, but it also kind of has like a... Um... Offish white. And I see like there's like gold stuff in it. Not really. I'm just trying here. And it, it feels... It feels like grainy. Which I believe is the exfoliating part. But that is on my hand. And it smells very good. And I can't wait to try that tonight. So that is exciting. As always, I will give reviews on the stuff that I keep. So, I will definitely give you a review on that. And this is another one I was hoping to get. And I'm really excited that I did. It is the Dr. Brandt Skin Changing Science 24-7 Retinal Eye Cream with Ruby Crystal Complex. And I am hoping this will help with my under eye area. Because I'm trying to make, trying to take good care of that area. But it has like a really beautiful packaging. It's like kind of like, I would say like rose gold-ish on the cap. And it's really pretty. Alright. And you unscrew it and then it has this kind of nozzle. Hold on. That nozzle there. And... And it's kind of like a light yellowish tan right here on my hand. And blend it in. Weird place to blend it, I know. And there you go. It feels nice. It feels kind of moisturizing, which is good. So I will can't wait to try it out. But right now I'm using the Clarins Extra Firming Eye Lifting. So, I'm using that, so I'd like to use this up first before I use this. So that was, that was January's box. The next box that I have is right here. And this is... I think this is December's box. I signed up in December, so I, apparently I got their box too, and then I got like a gift with like a code, and I'll show you what that one is in a minute. Um, but this is December's, from what I gather, and the first product that I see that I can't wait to use is the Saturday Skin Waterfall Glacier Water Cream. I hear this stuff's really good, so I'm very excited to try this. And this is what the packaging on the top, it has like this cute little water drop. It's so pretty. And it's in this beautiful pink container, white cap, white trimming, and text. Well, you got a little bit of silver there on the text. But you take it off, and it is this here, where you lift up again, and you pull up, and it is like 
very clear. I don't want to do it too much, but like if you can see it on the lid there, I'm afraid this will spill out. But let's see. Oh, I'm wait right there. Take a little bit. It's definitely clear. And we're going to lay it there and you blend it in. I don't notice the scent to it, but it feels very nice. It felt really nice when I blended it in. So, I'm excited to have this. And I'm excited to try it out. Um, so, yeah. And that's the Saturday skin. The next one is Seraphine Botanicals Whimsical Wisteria Conditioning Lip Polish. So this is a, a, a revitalizing lip polish made by blending soft sugar crystals into a rich vegan base of avocado, apricot, and jojoba oils as well as exfoliated, silky smooth, and protected. It is further infused with our propriety blend of cam chamomile, wisteria, honeysuckle flower extracts, natural antioxidants that continue to nourish lips after exfoliation. Tells you the directions. It says 100% plant based and vegan, no mineral oil, no parabens, no gluten, with avocado, apricot, and jojoba oils. With shea and coconut butters, with chamomile, wisteria, honeysuckle extracts, hyperallergenic. That's good. The packaging is cute. So, from what I gather, these are a vegan company, which is neat because. I actually want to do videos on vegan brands. I'm still in the works of thinking how I'm going to do that. But that is something in the future that I would like to do. But. Yeah. Okay. The next one is the. Ciate uh, London Eye Luster Cream Eyeshadow. It's a metallic eyeshadow. And it says it's lightweight and fallout free. The packaging is super adorable. It has like this light purple or light blue, however you want to call it. And it's got like these pretty like stars. And it's also got like a ribbon on it too. Which is cute. And you pull it out and it is this, it's like um real silver bright silver um actually it looks white but you take it and this is what this is what the wand looks like and and there's a swatch on my hand let me zoom in for you right here It's really pretty. I'm excited to try this one out. I think what I would really do mostly is I'd probably put it in the um um inner corner. I don't know why I did that. I'd put it in I'd put it in my inner corner of my eye. Here's that. This next one is an eyeshadow palette. Wrapped in bubble wrap. Mm. It is the Violet Voss um, Essentials Pro Series eyeshadow palette, and this is what it looks like. And then you open it up. Well, let me take the plastic thing out. You open it up, and these are the colors, and they are extremely beautiful. I cannot wait to play with this. And let's see, can I do swatches here? I'm going to do some quick swatches. They are very soft.
this green one. I want to know what it looks like. Because that green one's calling me. Looks like that one needs a little more belt. It has a black. Okay, so these are all the colors that are swatched on my, on my arm here. These are all the colors that are swatched on my arm. Sorry that there is a color up here, if you can tell, it's shiny. Yeah, the one up above the pink that's glistening. And those ones here. They're very, very pretty. The gold one, the gold one in person it looks like it's hard to see, but camera doesn't look pretty bad. Um, I'll do an, um, a video where I do like a makeup look with this, so stay tuned for that. But I can't wait to play with this. I don't have many of her stuff. I only have that um, Holy Grail palette I have of hers. That's like really tall. And it has mostly warm tone shades. But there's that. The last thing in here is the Cover FX. Um, this is what the packaging looks like. Hold on. Um, it is a face palette. It feels kind of like, the packaging as you can tell it feels plastic. To me it kind of feels cheap. Colors in here are very beautiful, don't get me wrong. Um, there's a highlighter in here. Alright, so where am I swatching these? Alright, let's swatch them here. There's a contour shade. These feel very smooth as I'm swatching them. There's a brightener, a finishing powder, and I'll do the other highlighter on the other side. And, ooh, that looks more pink toned, uh, and a blush. So, this is the highlighter in the blush shade. It's very beautiful. See how the um, highlighter up here, it looks those gold um, highlight. And then the blush is a beautiful pink. And I have some of the other stuff swatched here, if you can tell. Like I have the other highlighter, which is right here. The contour shade, the brightener, and the finishing powder is right here. But I'm going to... I don't want to get this too dirty. Ugh. But I'm going to give this to my sister. She's want, but, uh, She's been wanting this, so... I know she'll like it, so... This is going to her. Now, this is the one I was telling you about that I got when I typed in the kid when I joined. It's a much smaller box. But... I'm so happy that I did this, because... I was able to get... This eyeshadow palette. And I have I don't know for the longest time. It's the Too Faced Just Peachy Nuts. Let me. And open it up. And the oh comes with a little insert. Insert here. But the packaging is like very beautiful and it feels like very nice. Nicely made. You open it up, actually it has like little peach peach little thingies when you try and open them up. And then in here is like a mirror and here are the shades. Here are the shades. They're so pretty. And they do smell like peaches. And I like that smell. I know there are people who don't like it, but I don't mind it. I think it smells good. I cannot wait to play with this. Um, I would swatch these, but I don't really have any room. But I'll do, like, um, I'll do a video where I do, like, swatching, um, swatches of these and my first impressions with an eye makeup look. So, stay tuned in for that. I know I'm late to the game for this eyeshadow palette, but I really, really, I'm really, really grateful that I got this. Because I've been always wanting it and never was able to get it. Now I finally have it in my hands, so this is really exciting to me. And I love eyeshadow palettes. 
So then there's one last box. And this one didn't come with an insert. They actually emailed me it. And I don't know. There's people who don't like that. But for me, I don't mind that because this is my thinking. It saves from the, like, more paper being printed out. And half the time, most of these just get thrown in the trash anyway. So I don't mind the email I don't mind the email ones. I hope they continue to do that because I find it more beneficial to the environment than to print out a card. I know they look cool and all and they have good information, but they still do that on email, so I prefer the email. Didn't bother me any. The first thing in this box that I got and I'm so excited that I got is the Kate Somerville uh, Kate X Active Concentrates biomimicking peptides smirm, smooth and firm and target loss of elasticity and firmness while visibly reducing the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles and I mean, this is what the packaging looks like and I open it up it has like little smiley faces on the inside that's pretty neat but you take you open it up and it's in this nice white bottle and it has this little squeezy thing um to squeeze to to take in and um squeeze out the product um and it feels really nice and it has like a glass bottle and you open it up here is the let me use it here. Here is the product here. It's in this little nozzle. I don't know if you can tell. The, the yellow the product is this yellow stuff here. And I'm gonna drop it right on my hand here. And blend it in. As I don't know. I wouldn't really say like a scent. It's just kind of meh if you're looking for scents, but it feels really nice when I blended it in on my hand. And I can't wait to incorporate this into my skincare routine. The next one is the next one is the First Aid Beauty. Fab facial radiance pads help ex help exfoliate, tone, and brighten. I hear these are pretty good for acne too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give this to my sister because I know she'll probably like using it. But that's what that is. And you open it up. You lift and peel, and it's just like these little cotton, these little pads, kind of like those um can't think of the name but I'll start the picture right up here that's what it reminds me of those little pads that you find in Walmart but yeah I'm gonna give this to my sister so um but it's pretty cool that I got it though that's gone her the next product is the EVO skin Aurora in Aurora I cannot talk and pronounce things today Refreshing cleansing hemp wipes. It says it's balancing multifunctional anti fatigue, which is interesting. I've never tried anything like this before, so I'll give them a try. The next one is this Luxie Complete Sponge Set, and it has like all these different sponges, these three different sponges. Um, let's tell you what kind. A Lexi Detail Blender, Lexi Precision Blender, and a Lexi Powder Blender. They say they're cruelty free. But, and then you take them out of the package like that. And, here's what this one looks like up close. And then, this one looks like this. And then there's a smaller one. I could see this. Yeah, I think this one must be the face powder one. And then I could see it's definitely being used for the under eye area. 
where you blend out um, um, the powder or even concealer. Um, that's really nice. Really cool. So that's pretty awesome. Oh, uh, I'll probably get, I'm going to give that one away though. Because my sister saw it when we were looking together and she saw that she wanted it so I'm just going to give it to her because she looks like she's happy using it. Last product is the Ciate London Everyday Vacay. It is a coconut setting powder. And then this is what the packaging looks like. And first it has like the little ribbon. And this is a hard thing to open. Oh, not hard right now. Okay. And on the, there's what the container looks like, the product. And it has like this bow on the top. I'm sorry if I blinded you. I saw like a reflection a little bit on my door, so sorry if I blinded you there. But it is, a, looks like a finely melted powder. It's white. I'm too afraid to tilt it. But it's on my finger here, this white powder. I don't smell coconuts on here, but it does feel finely melted. Mm. I'm not sure what I'm going to think about this. I'll see if Hope wants it. If she doesn't, then I don't know if I'll keep it or if I'll pass it on to a friend, but. I think it's still pretty cool that I got it. Uh, I don't think there's a shade name, is it? No, just a batch code. But yeah, that's what I got there. So that is everything. That's all the BoxyCharm boxes that I have from, from December, January, February. Um... Thank you. If you made this far, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave um, a comment down below what you think. Or if you got any of these products or what you got in your boxy charm for those months. Or even made, or even the March boxy charm, what you think about what um, products they'll have out. Well, um, just leave me your thoughts and opinions. Yeah, that's all that I got my boxy charms for those months. And thank you for watching and like i said if you like this video like share subscribe hit that notification bell down below and if you want to please share my video and i'll see you all next time bye <laughs> i appreciate my eye look here i really worked hard on it i was pretty proud of this